So hi, I'm Pete Reid. I'm a Lieutenant in the Royal Navy, but much more recently I've been uh, competing in rowing at Olympic level um, for the last 10 years. And uh, I've won two Olympic gold medals in the Coxless Four, uh, and I'm here with Fuji today. There's portable and then there's ultra portable. You know, um, there are some times where you need to you need to capture a moment and even the X-T1 is just too much and carrying a, a bag is too much. I've, I've just whacked this on um, a, a leather strap and you pop it around your neck or put it over your shoulder and you've, you've always got that APS-C size sensor, you've always got that image quality, the prime lens with you at all times. And anybody that sees me thinks it's probably my dad's camera from uh, the 1950s, but little do they know that it's state of the art and, and I can get just fantastic images. So this is, it's so small, it, it, it weighs nothing around my neck and suddenly I've got creativity at my fingertips. I was given some great advice by an ex-photographer actually who, uh, who said that one of the very key things to being a professional photographer is having access. You know, you can be the best photographer in the world with the best kit in the world, but if you can't get there, if you, if you can't be in the right place at the right time, pointing the camera in the right direction and press the shutter, then th it doesn't matter what your skills are. And um, okay, I haven't got the skills yet. I'm not, a, I'm not a professional photographer, but what I do have is access to some of the, the most wonderful places and wonderful people uh, and wonderful moments um, certainly in sport. I'm very lucky to have that and uh, it's, it's very reassuring to know that in five years time, in 10 years time, in 50 years time, hopefully as an old man I can look back at my archives of photographs from these seasons running up to an Olympic Games and these key moments in my life and be really proud of the images and the, the quality that comes out. Maybe one day I'll share those images whether it's in a book or in an exhibition and um, and it's very nice to be 100% confident that the quality of the images will be more than the required standard. If we have a quick look at this photo, it's, a, it's an image that of me, um, uh, by me, it's a selfie, but it was so quick to set up, and that was with the um, X70. All I did before a, a row in the morning um, I didn't even have a tripod with me. I, I used the flip out screen um, that comes out of the back to sort of just set the angle perfectly. So I was uh, framing it from the screen, making sure that the, the rowing machine, the corners were, were in shot. I, I pre-focused on my feet because that's where I knew my, my head was going to be and my face, which is what I wanted to, um, the focus on. Uh, and then I, I set a, an interval timer. So I had um, one shot taken every three minutes for the hour that I was on the rowing machine. Nobody saw the camera just in the corner of the room. Nobody heard it because it was just clicking away once every three minutes, silently. And then afterwards I had a, a bank of photos of, of me on the machine and I took my pick of uh, which, one I, which position I liked during the course of that row. Sometimes even the X-T1 uh, and this system I use um, isn't portable enough. I have to carry this in a kit bag. Whereas this is just a, it comes with me everywhere. And I can just pop it in a, a side pocket in my kit bag, you know, with all of my training kit and all of my gear. On a number of occasions, that's just slotted in an internal pocket. And I, I know that I've got an opportunity to take um, exposures, whether they're manual or clicked over to automatic, whether they're just snaps or I've set it up or done my, my makeshift tripod idea and put it on a long exposure. Um, it, it's there in, in the corner pocket and I know that there'll be an opportunity in this Olympiad to take it, some images uh, that are book and exhibition quality that I wouldn't have had uh, without this camera because sometimes the X-T1 even wouldn't have been there. These cameras that I've got in front of me, they're not sort of a, a middle ground where you've got a bit from that and a bit from this. They're, they're the best of both worlds, portability and image quality. These are genuine opinions um, of mine about 
what I think is a fantastic brand and I wouldn't be saying these things, I wouldn't be appearing if I didn't really believe in it and I, I came to Fuji because of the size and because of the convenience and I stayed with Fuji uh, because of the fantastic image quality and, and what I've able, been able to produce since moving and um, it's been five years of Fujifilm now, I've been with them for three since the X100S and I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do in the future and I'm, I'm sure I'll be there and one day hopefully producing books, uh, maybe after rowing, becoming professional and uh, dare I say it, maybe one day an ex-photographer, but um, well here's hoping.